Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radicad. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about how Power BI Data Mart works with other components of Power BI ecosystem, such as uh, workspaces, such as deployment pipelines, the governance, everything else set up of the uh, Power BI Data Mart. How does it work? Let's check it out. <music> In the previous videos, you learned that Power BI Data Mart is uh, something you create in a Power BI workspace. So the first thing is that uh, Data Mart is part of a workspace. Workspace is a, a sharing uh, unit in Power BI uh, environment. If I have a um, lot of objects, 10 objects in a workspace, I can share it with my colleagues. I can give them access to either edit it or I can give them access just to view it. So I have control around it. Within a workspace, you have the ability to set the access level. You can give different people different levels of access. Members and contributors would be able to edit the content. Admin, of course, can edit the content as well. But these two are for those that you want them to go and edit this. If you don't want them to edit it, just view the content, then you'll give them viewer access. In addition to share it through the workspace, you can also share this individually. But if you are sharing through the workspace, uh, I have explained about workspace sharing previously. Um, that was uh, an example of uh, data flow and shared data set, but same concepts applies here as well. Uh, consider creating layers of workspace in a way that you create those sharing mechanisms that you have data marked, for example, in one workspace, but then users of that can be in other workspaces. They create a report connected to that data mark in other workspaces. All of that can be configured using workspaces. A workspace is a sharing unit in Power BI, which you can leverage that. Um, as I mentioned, you can also share uh, the content of, uh, let's say, the data mart itself separately. Like, for example, if I want to share this data mart with someone, but I don't want them to access everything else, I can do that. I can go to the data mart and I can choose share. When I share it, users would be able to uh, connect to it, build reports from it. They can even connect to the SQL endpoint of that and query the data. They cannot edit the um, they cannot edit the data mark, but they can edit it. And I can, uh, sorry, they cannot edit the data mark, but they can view it and build reports and analysis on top of it. Um, and you can assign users over here. If you want them to also share it with others, you can do that. But I would suggest sharing it throughout a workspace for a better, um, for a better result. Uh, another thing is that, um, in Power BI dataset, when you set up a scheduled refresh, if that dataset comes from a, a data, if the data of that dataset parts of that comes from a data flow, you have to schedule refresh in two places. You have to make sure that they all uh, sync with each other. When this is finished, the other one starts things like that. Here, you don't need to do that. You see, this dataset doesn't really have a scheduled refresh option. I have a scheduled refresh option in the data mart. When I click on it, I can schedule it uh, like a normal data set. I can say, for example, I want to schedule it to refresh at 10 a.m. or add as many as times you want. Um, up to 48 times a day, you can refresh it, similar to Power data dataset, I believe. Uh, when you set apply, now this setting is applied for the entire data mart, meaning that from the time that it connects to the data source, it populates that data, it reads the data from source all data in this case, loads it into, uh, import it into Azure SQL database, stores it as a table, as a data in that table, then that will be processed or imported into Power BI dataset. So all of that happens with this refresh time. You don't need to set up multiple refreshes. And one last thing is that you can have data marts as part of your deployment pipelines. What are the deployment pipelines? Deployment pipelines are a way that you can um, push the changes from different environment uh, in uh, from one environment to another environment in Power BI. This is for software development lifecycle support where you have different environments, one for development, one for test, one for production, um, and you 
publish normally your changes into dev. Other developers go and check it. If it is fine, you'll push it, deploy it into the test. There are some test users who will test it. If it is fine, you'll push it, push changes into the production. Deployment pipeline helps with that. And it's a premium functionality. Now deployment pipeline also supports data marks. As you can see, data marks is also supported in that. When I compare these two, it can tell me that there is a change in a data mart. For example, it tells me that this data mart is new. We didn't have that before. So this is totally new. And this data mart was there, but there was a change in that data mart. So it captured those. And when you deploy it, it deploys all of those changes as well. In addition to that, the uh, data mart, you can uh, set an endorsement on a data set related to the data mart. Uh, in the same way that you did before, like when I go to the data set, I can set the endorsement for that data set, promoted, certified, and uh, for governance purposes, there can be like some processes to define these. Uh, you can set up sensitivity labels so that if you don't want someone outside of organizations to access this data, even if this data shared to them by mistake, you can set sensitivity labels and all those kind of configurations are easily possible in Power BI Data Mart. So I hope this video helped you to understand how to uh, get Power BI data, say, data Mart work with other components of Power BI. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI. Thank you.